we're talking briefly about some of the problems uh, that we've come because we haven't kept the declaration of restriction that those who ratified our constitution wanted. We haven't kept the method of using amendments to change our government that those who ratified our constitution wanted. And because of that, we've got a few problems, lots of problems. And the way to get back from that is to educate yourself first that one thing is the freedom's worth it. it. For those of you who want to be slaves, this doesn't do you much good at all. If you're happy to be a slave, just want to get the most benevolent master, um, golly, this, this, what I'm teaching you doesn't do any good. If you realize, though, that you're better off ruining your own life, as Dr. Victor Paul Worwell once pointed out in one of the things he wrote, that's where I got it ruining your own life, you know, than having the most benevolent master, well, then you probably, this will do you some good. Freedom is worth it. That's the first thing you have to understand. And then you have to go from there, well, educate yourself that, yes, this declaration of restriction works. And then you have to see from that, that educating others is what you have to do. Okay. That's how it works. It's all education. It can't be legislation. That being said, uh, I want to talk briefly about health care. Health care has seen huge changes in this country. When I was a young man, and not that I'm the expert at all on these things, I am not a doctor. And I very much appreciate doctors and nurses and hospitals and the things that are done good. I do. Um, but we used to have hospitals that people who had money would uh, throw up a wing or put an investment in to build a hospital in an area to help people, okay? Because they had a lot of money and that they're, they're gonna die and rather than give it all the kids, they put in a hospital. And your hospitals were built one stack after the other. They just kept adding on to them made it hard to run HVAC through the place. That being said, it's now a huge industry. Uh, mammoth hospitals being built, big money. And the insurance companies, uh, which didn't exist in the 50s the way they do now, um, have become gigantic. Uh, and the government gets involved because that's where the money's at. Just so you understand this, when the government gets involved, because that's where the money's at, and they're getting in that business, okay? And there's a couple of reasons for it. Uh, one is to get in the business and make the money, but the other is, the higher end is to get control of people. This is what the believing of people. We are trying at this point in the country, uh, this being made in 2020, uh, to have a uh, socialized medicine. And if you want to have socialized medicine, there are several countries that have socialized medicine. You should get a, a group that represents all the different interests. And, and just so you understand, when you go with socialized medicine, you're going to get rid of a gigantic amount of industry in this, in this nation. But they'll, they'll be replaced by bureaucrats. That'll work. But you should take people who are involved and know what they're doing, doctors, people who run hospitals, uh, people who are in the insurance business now and understand that, and get them together and look at maybe the top 16 socialized med medicine plans in different countries around the world. Pick the best parts of them, put them together, and have socialized medicine. Not what you're doing right now. Uh, we started out saying, well, we're going to have socialized medicine. Don't call it that what it is and then uh, the other side said well we're not going to do that and the next thing you know they are doing that they're just arguing over who gets to run it and how how it's going to be run and the worst of it is they're trying to do it piecemeal which you can't do and it's just killing you if you want to do this you'd want to make an amendment the reason they want that now part of it's the money there's just a huge amount of money there. It's one of the biggest money makers there is. That being said, though, 
part of it is though to understand is to, they're trying to control the belief of the people. You got to have health care one way or the other. You know, whether you go to a witch doctor or whether you get healed, you know, somebody lays hands on you, or whether you, you know, just pray to God and uh, take apple cider vinegar, or whether you go to a doctor, or whether you go to a hospital, you know, whatever you do, you need some kind of health care along the way. And if they control that, they can control your believing. That's the purpose. You have to understand that. You say, oh, Rod, this is about health care. It's about what we have to have. we got to have the federal government involved. Fine. You can believe that all day long. And I'm sure there's a lot of people doing, a lot of people involved are trying to do good things. The point is, the power is in the believing of the people. And the ultimate end, okay, of what they're trying to control is that power. When I say they, whoever they are, they're the people who understand that and are trying to do whatever they can to control that because they will use that power for their own benefit and their group's own benefit. Okay. Hopefully these things are helping.